all right this video gonna be interesting because in this video we'll store around 100 gigs of storage at just two dollars that is it is even cheaper than the hard disk or the external hard disk available on the market so that is the power of object storage in aws also we'll be understanding the different life cycle policies or the different tiers here yeah. so before coming to this architecture diagram how it works let's first understand the basics of storage class because this is the prerequisite which you need to know otherwise the life cycle policy which is this diagram would be a bit difficult to understand so let's go through the basics you got to remember by default whenever we upload an object or file in AWS in S3 it is by default in S3 standard tier which is by default the costliest option why is it costly because we are frequently accessing the data the concept goes something like that the more frequently or more fast you access the data the more costlier tier it will be on the other end if we are not accessing the data that is it it's a cold storage also known as glacier in s3 that is uh, if you want to just uh, retain the data for let's say five years ten years based upon the compliance requirement of any business or company then we use glacier so it is just the opposite of standard tier so here we, we are not retrieving the data but we are just simply storing the data we'll come to the glacier it's very in, uh, interesting because we'll store in two dollars hundred thousand gigs of data that is around one terabyte let's understand the second important topic that is intelligent turing intelligent turing is another important concept with regard to storage class because it can store the data for unknown or changing access patterns what do i mean by changing access patterns let's say i don't know whether a file or the object present in s3 is accessed in 10 days 20 days or one year maybe we are not aware amazon s3 what it uses in intelligent tiering that it will automatically know which tier to move as mentioned there are many tiers option as mentioned uh, here in the bottom standard glacier infrequent access in which tier it will be the cost effective solution intelligent tiering does it automatically by using machine learning or ai what you can also understand you got to understand the uh, basic concepts just remember standard s3 standard is used for frequently access data that is it is it is a kind of hot storage second important point is intelligent tiering when we don't know the access patterns then we use intelligent tiering and the third important concept is deep glacier archive it is the lowest cost storage class that is it is be it will be the most pocket friendly option to store the files or the object in s3 right so just remember the three important point though there are other storage classes as mentioned here like s3 express one zone infrequent access you can have a read at this but uh, in the interest of any aws certification or any kind of uh, data architect in real life all as well these three will always come in handy better to remember few things rather than remembering everything and confusing later right so let's now dive into the architecture all right so the architecture diagram as you might be seeing that is first is the s3 standard after 35 days we can create a rule where it will be go to the standard infrequent access uh, it the more right hand side if you look or go the more cheaper option it will be so glacier just remember it uh, anything there are though there are many variations of glacier if we uh, look in the previous slide here yeah, that glacier instant retrieval then s3 glacier flexible retrieval then glacier deep archive just remember whenever you see the term glacier think of cold storage or when the data you don't want to access frequently like it will be just like a um, just for storage purpose just like uh, you don't access or uh, view all your videos or pictures on your computer you just store them somewhere like kind of memories 
right so just remember glacier is kind of that thing and after 120 days or something we can delete the object so these days you see are not fixed we can mention any number of days as per our compliance or the business needs so i've just given one example to show how we can do it and the interesting part is we'll see this in the demo itself like how we can configure this thing not just theoretically a little i'll just implement as well practically to show you how we can achieve this in our real life project to save cost now that you have understood the life cycle architecture so let's also understand some of the important points just remember why we are doing the life cycle management the bottom line is we are trying to save cost so that is what goes the point number one otherwise people could have stored all the objects in standard tier right so that doesn't make sense if you want to store cost we need to do life cycle management or we need to move to the less uh, 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 costlier options like glacier to save cost then comes point number two these are nothing but some of the rules which you need to know like what is the precedence how uh, the life cycle configuration takes place like permanent deletion takes precedence over transitions transitions i mean to say this one like from standard from uh, standard infrequent access to glacier these are called transitions uh, you need to know the hierarchy what it follows kind of uh, board mass in maths what we say this is what you need to exactly know but uh, then again like uh, we don't need to mug them up or remember uh, these things it will come automatically as we do the hands on as mentioned the important part is the standard s3 standard you just got to uh, know this thing s3 standard then uh, comes the next important thing is the intelligent tiering that is it automatically uh, moves the data when the access patterns are unknown right so th this is another important point and uh, the most or the uh, last important point is the s3 deep glacier archive this is if you want to store cost if you want to save cost i mean uh, let's see this in the cost calculator i have already done my homework so that uh, it shouldn't take a time or we waste time doing this see 100 gigs per month uh, 1000 gigs per month i mean it costs just two dollars and even uh, we are uh, we can mention the size of the object for 250 uh, we can give even let's say thousand that is it will be one gigabyte file if you're uh, on an average uh, the size of the files or the object it will still cost around two dollars it is very cheap compared to the market external hard disk or ssd if you want to store any kind of uh, pictures or videos just like for the memory sake or something so you can utilize s3 deep glacier if you're if you want to utilize the power of cloud so let's now do some hands-on for the architecture diagram which we have shown.